Hi everyone, the movies aren't everybody's cup of tea, me included. I don't particularly like the films. The first one I thought was a pretty good film. The second one is universally absolute tripe. Just about everybody agrees with that. They're essentially the same film that carries on and on and on and on. And, on. and, and as they've gone on, they've got worse and worse. <clears throat> as you know, there's a new film coming out. And they did a trailer the other day, and it kind of just tweaks it. It just milks you just a little bit, just enough to make you think, maybe this one's going to be different. Maybe this one's going to be the film that I want to watch. Maybe this one will learn from the crappy mistakes that we've done before, and maybe it will be pretty good. It's got Anthony Hopkins in it. Why would it not be good? It's even got a hot rod, apparently with a French accent. I haven't got anything against the French, but a French accent. Why on hot rod? Don't understand that at all. But it just has tweaked your imagination enough to make you think maybe it will be a good film. And it probably won't. It will probably be terrible. And they'll all just be watching it thinking, ah, oh, here we go again. However, one good thing that comes from the movies is the Transformer line. We can complain as much as we want about how uh, terrible the films are and how we don't appreciate what Michael Bay has done to the franchise. But the toys, the toys are good. And you can't say they're not. A lot of people that are uh, really against Bayformers can't really argue with the fact that some of these are absolute gems. And I picked out 10 of the best Bayformers that I own. Uh, this came from uh, Tyler, who's on Transformers and such. He did a, a video, then, then Cho did a video. And then I said I'd do a video because it's a quick one. It only take me a few minutes to actually put together. I'm going to edit it and then just get it all done. So let's get on with it, shall we? At number 10, Protoform Optimus Prime. This thing turns into like a spermy kind of thing. Uh, it's like a, but it's just, just a really great bot. It's got some really nice, clever touches on it. Even though you only see it for like a split second in the film. It's, uh, yeah, it's a great little toy, and I, I really like this, and it's an unusual Prime. It's good to have a, a Prime that doesn't look like a normal Optimus Prime. At number nine, Sideswipe, from, I don't know which film, maybe Revenge of the Fallen, not quite sure, but this thing's great. There's a few versions of Sideswipe uh, that they've done. Um, I think there's three different moulds that you can actually pick up. And this is my favourite one. I, I like the I like how the uh, the scissors have like an auto mechanism that you do one side and the other one moves at the same time, which is really sweet. And the actual car form on this thing is absolutely glorious. Where a lot of the uh, older Transformers have got like issues when they they are they were like vehicles and then they became robots and robots weren't very good. These things are quite loyal to the actual source material. Looks nothing like the original Sideswipe. It's still a beautiful toy. Great head on this thing. Good articulation. Like the little rubber pieces there that hold the legs in place. Good bot. At number eight, Revenge of the Fallen, Wheelie. This thing is a gem. An absolute gem. If, if, you have, if you've never held this thing, it's brilliant. It, it, the robot form's really unusual because it's kind of spindly and, uh, and, and not normal, but... It's, it goes together really, really well. And the actual truck form of this thing is fantastic. Nice and chunky and it rolls about. It's perfect in every way, really. For a, to, if, you, if you actually see what the thing looks like, and it doesn't look anything like the wheelie, uh, again, the, the original um, Transformers. But it's a great, great bar. In at number seven, the Baywatch version. This was dead in the darkness. Afraid to step variant of um, Ratchet. This thing is really, really nice. What a beautiful, beautiful transformation on this thing. Some really, really clever engineering that they did to actually get all the back section in, in place and that some flaps on there and you twist it round and, and it forms up a really, really decent, decent uh, vehicle form. So yeah, top draw. In at number six, Revenge of the Fallen Megs. Not everybody's favourite Transformer, I'll, I'll have to admit, but I like this thing. I love the I love the fact that it's got like a, one spindly arm because he was he was basically cobbled together from uh, other Transformers and he has this humongous cannon that sits on one side of him. He also has like a 
some speech thing going on, and he has like some bits in that like oh some bits in that like oh some bits in that like oh some pieces inside him that when you actually pull the trigger, it all moves. The head's great. It turns into this massive tank. This tank's really, really like heavy duty, proper killing machine. Where a lot of the other transformers are trying to turn into something that's a disguise. This thing just wants to turn into something that will kill you. And it's such a great bot. I think it's probably the best megs that they did in the movie bot line. In at number five, Transformers, the first film, Optimus Prime. This thing is absolute quality. Real quality. It's got some absolutely massive weight to this thing. And where you get some Transformers that are flimsy and they don't come apart, this thing is built really, really well. They've spent time and effort and uh, some real thoughts gone into it. The truck form is perfect, absolutely perfect to the representation of the truck that's in the movie. Uh, it's it's got a great head. It's just it does exactly what it's supposed to. It also has uh, an auto thing and a few little bits that you when when it's in truck form it can honk its horns and yeah it's 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 just really really good. In at number four, Dark of the Moon Shockwave. This thing's got a bit of a weird tank form thing that a lot of people might not be that fond of. They might think that it's a bit... Mm. But, I quite like the tank, but the robot, now that, for me, is a beautiful, beautiful robot. It's got tons and tons and tons of detail. The light piping on the head is superb. Oh, you can, oh, you might, oh, you can actually get a little bit of the light piping. Look, look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, this thing is, is immense. A glorious, glorious piece of plastic. In at number three, Human Alliance Bumblebee. This is actually Bumblebee. It's actually got a proper head. Um, this thing's great. Absolutely perfect transformation. Uh, it's, it's just a great, great thing. The, the fact that they decided to do the Human Alliance uh, vehicles and they put like interiors inside the car. So they had working doors and steering wheels and seats and things like that. What a stroke of genius that were. That was just amazing. I wouldn't have thought that that would have been possible to do that kind of engine. And the engineering involved with this, there's as much engineering in, in this as there are some masterpiece figures. It's absolutely fabulous. Goes together perfect. Rolls fantastic. Yeah. There's an MP version of Bumblebee coming out. I'd be absolutely astounded, astounded if it's a much better than this thing. In at number two, Dark of the Moon, Sentinel Prime. This thing is massive. It's got a, another one of the... Uh, Sentinel Prime. That's definitely not Lennon Nimoy. This thing is one of the most complicated things you'll ever transform. But I tell you what, once you get used to it, and once you actually understand how it all goes together, it's proper proper rewarding it actually makes you feel like you've achieved something articulation on it is great it looks amazing it's just fabulous just like a a, a regal i'm in charge kind of look about him there's, there's not been many bots in the uh, in the transformers movie that actually stand next to an optimus and make optimus look average this thing makes optimus look bang average so yeah, before I get to number one, I'm going to do a few honourable mentions because it seems like the dumb thing to do. Honourable mention number one is uh, this guy. Uh, I can't remember his name, uh, but I know that he was a homage to Outback. I did have him as one of my Transformers of the Week ages ago, but I forget what they're called. So I'm very, very sorry. Very, very sorry. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that he is absolutely kibbletastic at the back, he would have been really, really good. He re would have been really, really high up there. And uh, I haven't seen him for a while on the shelf because he was hidden near the back. And then when I saw him, I thought, oh, yeah. I remember how much I loved this thing when, it, when I first got it. it is, it's a really, really good toy. My other honourable mention goes to Skids and Mudflap. The robot form on this, we know, ain't that good. But I tell you what, as, as alt forms go, that is beautiful. Really, really nice. Ice cream van, it's got 
oh, it's just great. I love the style of it at the front and the bonnet and everything and the little ice cream, um, Mr. Whippy on the top. Such a great, great toy. I, I still have this as proud of place on my um, on on the actual uh, shelves. Such a good bot. And if you look at it in, in real detail uh, at the back of it, you've got like rust patches that they, they never painted in that are on the doors, around the hinges, around the, and, and little rust patches around here, around the wheel arches. There's a real thought and love gone into this thing. A lot more than a lot of these Transformers that go out there. In at number one is half of the ice cream van that we've just seen. Human Alliance Skids. This thing is just immense. I love the robot form. Some people aren't fond of the uh, bay, but the bay form is how they look and all the mechanical parts and everything. But I love it. I really, really like it. I like how the the wings, the uh, door arches go out the side. You can actually fold them round another way so that they're hidden away. But I like the uh, I like the the wings up like that. The actual car form is a perfect representation of a Chevrolet. A Chevrolet, Chevrolet car, everything about it is brilliant and the ins when you've actually transformed it correctly the actual car part in has an interior like the Human Alliance Bumblebee does, it's just really really good and it's some real thought and real effort gone into making something like this, again, masterpiece figures, some masterpiece figures aren't this well made, this is just top banana. So if you get a chance to find one of these things cheap, get one bought because you won't regret it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Come to Transforms as such where we all talk nerdy stuff and talk about this kind of crap all the time. And you can also talk about um, all the rest of the nerdy things that you might be into. Have a good day. Be good to each other. See you later. Bye.